so this is what we are working on removing those beam axle bushings these guys here because they are like worn out and flapping around so what i'm gonna use it's my big air chisel okay and we're gonna start hammering it and see what happens now it's gonna be noisy so plug your ears ladies and gentlemen tight spot very tight but they'll manage it three hours later oh, there it goes so one it's out now okay that's awesome so there we go the bushing it's out i'm gonna put a little bit of lubrication on it and we're gonna start installing the new one that's how this guy looks like right there right there <laughs> That's how it came out okay so here we go this is the passenger side i already chiseled the front and i'm just gonna chisel it from the back so it's gonna push it out okay let's get ready for rumble Boom, and it's out. And now all we do, install the new ones, yeah. So if anybody wants to do this kind of job, you know, if you own an E350, you know, with the I-beams, if you have an air chisel, it's very easy to take it out. A little patience takes about maybe five minutes per side to do it or ten the most and then uh, we're gonna put some nice lubricant and we're gonna push the new ones in so yeah it's not a hard job guys so don't get scared you just need to know what you're doing and you need to have the right tool so here we go these are the old ones that they got chiseled out and these are the new ones so they are nice and round you know so it's gonna be very stable you know it's gonna be perfect instead of just flapping around and vibrating and making all kinds of noises there we go the finished product installed and all i use one of these ball joints ball joint driver it goes nice and flat on it and I just used my big hammer and just go until it's nice and flat on the beam service surface so there we go it's all in nice and now we're gonna do the next one and I used a little bit of liquid on it. Well, it's a no seas grease, right? So it just makes it easier to slide in and then uh, will not rust for the next time when it has to come out. So there we go, the second one it's in too. And now I'm gonna, I show you, this is the driver's side. And this one is the passenger side. And we're gonna use some dialytic grease on it. So it's just gonna slide in 
the sway bar easy so you're not gonna fight it <laughs> pretty much what it takes to do the beam axle bushings my friends and the job complete now I'm just gonna put the bolts up on the sway bar on the frame and it's done 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 done